Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Audi's Airsoft and today we're looking at the Classic Army BT5A4 from Main Irish Airsoft. This review has been brought to you in part by Main Irish Airsoft. Right, so well, let's kick this off by initially saying that much like uh, my, you know, my, my passion or lack of passion for AKs, I'm not a huge fan of MP5s and their derivatives. But there's absolutely no denying how popular they are on airsoft fields. Um, I think maybe one of the appealing points about MP5s and their derivatives, of course I shouldn't be calling it an MP5 because it's a BT5, um, is that there are so many different variants, okay? This particular one, the A4, is a classic army pro line version but having a very quick look at the classic army catalog there are 14 different variants alone in the classic army catalog and i know there are other manufacturers do different versions as well so there's plenty to choose from that will suit your tastes um, now while i may not be the greatest fan of mp5s um, they are hugely popular i cannot deny how well built this gun is yes it's a pro line so you would expect it to be very well made indeed but I really am impressed. It's so well put together. Really, really nice indeed. Magazine, nice positive fit. You know, a little bit awkward for me, but then again, I'm used to putting in standard um, Stanags. Um, nice ambi controls, uh, both sides. I like the sights. Locking bolt catch. Um, the hop adjuster on this is a little bit unusual. It's more like uh, what I've come, become used to seeing on, um, say, sniper rifles. Rather than being a drum or a little star wheel, it's actually a slider, which makes it, you know, handy enough to adjust if you're not wearing gloves. But if you are wearing gloves, it could be a bit fiddly, but then again, all hop units are. Uh, so as I say, very, very nicely made. Now, this apparently is called the wide fore-end uh, model. Um, the foregrip is quite wide, uh, and it is actually removable. What I don't like about this is that there is a little bit of wobble in it. And that doesn't particularly appeal to me. Um, but I, I'm presuming that you can change it out for something else if you really want to because it is removable. Um, the stock is also removable as well. I presume you can customize the, the, the stock you put on the gun. Uh, it comes as standard with a solid stock. And the battery fits in the rear like that. Um, looking at that, mm, it probably would take a large, but I couldn't swear to you that it would take a large battery. Um, but you know, um, each to their own. It depends, I suppose, what you want out of it. The magazines to me always looked a bit fiddly. Now, I'm not a big fan of, of high cap magazines, even in my, my A4s, although I have used them. And just to me, just seems maybe to be a little bit fiddly, but maybe that's because I'm not a huge fan of, of MP5s anyway. There we go again, calling it an MP5. Um, it is a BT5. Why is it a BT5? Because B and T have the rights to manufacture the MP5 uh, under license because H and K don't make it themselves anymore. So it is, it does have licenses, B and T here. Um, nice feature there, stamped on the, the body, the metal body. It actually says Cal 9mm by 19, which is nice. Um, it doesn't say that it doesn't have the usual um, Cal 6mm BB anywhere, which, you know, it's a, it's a nice touch. And if this is the sort of thing that will you know, if you're into MP5s anyway, it's these little touches that will set this gun apart from, from other guns, especially if they're a sport line. Um, but you know, build quality says is very nice. Listen to this. Nice. You know, that is a nice feature. I don't know if that's on every MP5. Let's do it again. Nice. Right? It is a very, very nice piece. Now, I haven't taken this out into the field because um, we only had the one mag for it. And it's very impractical going out in a skirmish with only the one mag. But you know, it does fire nicely. Um, it's a nice compact piece, but then it's meant to be. It is an SMG, okay? It's not meant to be a full assault rifle. Um, so relatively short barrel, I'm guessing it's, I don't know, 229 mil. I haven't looked at the specs. I'm guessing it's typical short uh, SMG type length. Um, but you know, a nice piece, very well made, apart from the little wobble at the foregrip. So uh, all in all, a nice piece. Will it sway me to the MP5 dark side? 
Probably not. There are, for me anyway, there are other nicer SMGs out there. Um, but if you're an MP5 fan, or a BT5 fan in this case, this is definitely one you should check out because it is very, very nicely made. Um, the stock itself, even though it's removable by a single pin, is solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, the body, predominantly metal, very nicely made, very well painted. Uh, I, as I mentioned, the, the stamping there for the Cal 9mm nine, nine by 19, uh, very nice indeed. The ambi control is a standard. Um, I can't really find any fault in the way that this is actually manufactured. Uh, now, looking at the flash hider on it, I'm guessing that you could probably get a suppressor of some sort that is keyed specifically for this gun, which you know, which would add to the add to the look of it. Um, yeah, a nice gun, very well put together. Um, seems to have some very nice components uh, internally as well, from what I've seen. So uh, check it out at MIA.